We've still got one pick left to go. Uh, Bowie, why don't you talk to me about how no ping are going to be looking to round out this draft, which they're going to do, so well, you don't have a chance. Uh, and they're rounding it out with a Sand <laughs> King. Uh, chucking that Magnus mid you've been talking about. Very good call there. Do you like this? Yeah, I'm fine. I think <laughs> any other rune other than haste, he definitely dies there. Yeah, he will pick up bounty. He might be in trouble here. Oh, do we get our first blood? Yeah, he, this is first blood, I think. Seven minutes in. One more touch from Analog should do it, but he's got another shield. Skewer misses. Oh, he's on the run. Shield's gonna pop in a second. He wants to try and deny to neutrals, but first blood is grabbed by Analog. Something. Against 2300. Big, big difference. Theo gonna drop to Katara there as well. Just gonna come to that TA as well, RDO dropping very low top lane. The boar slow, but he does have reincarnation. Now the tower pressure from Frank, who's spotting analog, just gets his skewer back up with the he mana refreshing on him. They, they have You're arena, right. like they're gonna go for it. They found him, trap him inside, claim his life. TA trap onto the Grim now. Inkswell turn around, too much damage Another from trap. Kataro as monster. He borrowed into this and he doesn't have Sandstorm. It's gonna be a double kill for your Templar Assassin. Even with Vanguard, he drops so quickly. Doing a very good job trying to manipulate the wave. Needs like one creep to get level six. Might not even get it. RDO. Oh. Yeah, that <laughs> final crit. Tower or blink in, jump initiate. Maybe play with the Wraith King who who has yeah, armlet phase boots now. So you can't you have can a who's blink ready to away, but you can't Vanguard away. That's the problem. Exactly. <laughs> Like Vanguard, what's he gonna do for him now? He Vanguard Sandstorm, yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's he done got the it. He gets a good epicenter. Borrow Strike back from the Rubik, they're gonna kill off Kim with that Tower Glyph. Monster, now helped by the Grip out of Bane, catches Katara, but a good arena. Nice turnaround, defensive play there as the Soulbind gets expended, but nothing chucked their way. Leo style looking to turn, an RP comes from the Magnus, they catch Katara still, they like just Kim. taken out. And they spear back RDO, no real casualties. From this dire side, though, and they're, they're surrounding this Templar Assassin. They needed the roar, and now Kataro gets to output his damage. Analog down, but another burrow back in. Allows RDO to open up on the TA, but He's they still burst alive. through them. TA still alive, thanks to the shield and the stuns coming for the rest of his team. RDO looking pretty healthy after that reincarnation. Gets on to that Templar Assassin, but Leo style. He tracks back, stuns him, spears him, and contribute straight through the Wraith King as KJ is left here. All alone. Against a mud golem and a boar, but a good slow from that stroke of fate. Red for a fraction of a second there. And Magnus gonna show middle, so the jump comes in. Leo style, Yule's arena spear, catch analogs Magnus, and the TPs are coming in, but not fast enough. He dies. Is he gonna have to? Because RDO has gone straight on in with Monster, the epicenter. He needs someone to get forward and help him out here, but they've got a BKB TA on the run, Soulbind expended as well, so Lava turning and ditching. We can leave the ancient black dragon and the boar for their own devices, trying to clear it up with RDO, but not quite enough damage there. Damage. Wraith King is Still level pretty good though. Now. Are, are they trying on the Wraith King? Nah, nah, telekinesis, stun, let him be. Epicenter being channeled, monster. Thinking about going in. They do no have a captain, can't use a baddon. Yeah, Borrow Time's coming in a second, he's silenced up. He's Good still on the high out. ground, and a two-man stun from Monster takes him back up there, but now the Sand King is open to this TA with a DD rune. They get the stun from Rubik onto the Wraith King, but a big RP. No, no follow-ups, they have no follow-up damage. The Rubik stops him from getting any more, and RDO is blown up along with a Magnus. Great execution from Kim on that Rubik. The stolen burrow, the telekinesis, everything was spot on. Yeah, you'll spear. I've caught the Wraith King, but now he's being drifted around. The RP's on him. Uh, Analog Mag is in the mix of things as they roar the Wraith King in a good arena as well. The disarms on the TA though. Kataro can't hit anyone, has to BKB and run away while the borrowed time from Baron keeps him nice and healthy until he's borrowed struck once more. No ping, defending their tier two with everything they've got. Buying back on the Bane, KJ returns, and there's the death of the Abandon. Are finished. Let's see the side blades. Oh, good burrow from Kim. 
So good, isn't it? They, they nightmare the Rubik and they've stunned up Kotaro's TA. But Leo Style is still chasing. The TA trap slows down the mag. Another trap's there, ready to the right. But they grip up the Mars. Stolen. Rubik comes back in. He's burrowed and he's got a grip ready, but he's been crit down. Slapped into the grave by Ardio's Wraith King. And Lava maybe overextending a little bit too far. Leo Style and Kotaro on the run for the tier 2 tower. TA has Aegis and BKB, though. RDO breaking high ground, RDO going up alone, analog blinks and misses the skewer, whiffs on the initiation, now he's roared up, stuck for BKB, this cat you comes back in, Leo Star and Frank will finish him off and RDO's isolated, Four times back up, they try to heal the Mars but it's not enough, Frank silence now with Inkswell stun landing and another disarm on TA, no ping keep going, two hit with a Wraith Fire Blast thanks to the Soul Bind and another couple of kills for them, he is alone. has the secondary life, Kataro's all alone, it's 1v3, first life down. And she blink oh, away. What a mistake. Let's see if Audio is going to be able to find the TA. They catch her. She's melded. Invisible is invulnerable, but not with a dust on Theo Lacour. A five man wipe is incoming as no pick. Find the fight they so desperately needed. To set themselves up for this. And if they find analog here, smoke breaks. Blink in. Leo Stahl so quick on his fingers. Finds the Magnus. Good night, Mayor. There's no chance for analog. Dead for a minute with no buyback on him. And they've got an arena trapping two heroes inside. RDO and KJ stuck inside the Colosseum. Where's the focus from Lava Low? Who can they kill? Bane, half HP, dead in a matter of seconds. And now we have a potential killing blow. Shows on top. But the smoke breaks on Katyu. Full staff to the low ground. He's out of there. Frank bails. And yet again, no kill for the Dire. Oh, maybe on Frank. He's, he's turning, thinking about roaring. Audio and Analog, they're on this Beastmaster. The rest of Lava now are on Mag again. And Magnus is just being shredded. No RP, no mag for 60. RDO, he's stuck outside the arena, trying to run away, but he's been lifted. Back towards the Templar Assassin, and the reincarnation popped. First life gone, Theo and KJ, they have nothing left to give in this fight. Two big core kills there, and the chase towards the supports is on now. Leo style with yet another catch. Helped out by his Yule Scepter. Finds the three they need to crack open this dire base yet again. Yeah, it, was, it was a weird one. Like It looked like Lava running away, and then Frank decides, I'm going to go fight. I'm going to roar this guy in his BKB. You're going to kill the Magnus. Fight one. And victory going to Lava. A sanking last ditch attempt. Now the GG comes. Throne is falling. And the fountain diving from Leo style in towards Theo Lacour. Bursting through that grim stroke. And game one. A victory for Lava. Follow up damage because right now it feels like they like a little bit of it. The Terror Blade could die. Like it's really easy to kill this DK, uh, the Terror Blade 24 7. Sure. They're going to get the Inkswell and the Silence. That's good enough, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it, it is very comfortable for RDO, but uh, I do feel like no pain. Oh, it's getting a bit spicy in mid lane. I mean, top lane, Theo Lacour's dying! Cat you takes down the Snapfire. Start harassing your cookie. That's a good cookie gush. Cat you, he's popped all the regen he's got. The brain sat back onto Monster. Kataro's trying to trade with a Tide. I've seen Queen of Pains uh, in EU West, which has been probably the most popular hero. Is sometimes if the matchup is good, you skip the blink completely. Kim close to death, but they actually turn back on the TB very nicely with Frank's Mars. Metamorphosis not being put to its full use. As Lava able to battle back against this tree and TB lane. Chasing KJ even and going pretty deep for this. Kim and Frank, they want this kill badly, but they might lose a couple in the exchange. RDO, he's chasing down the Grimstroke and he will find that one for one. It's time wasted. Man, Glyph plus armor plus grasp again. They arena the trees. Oh, they found KJ. Missed the spear though. KJ, he's got level two leech seed. He's not going to survive though through the stuns they've got. Leo and Frank make short work of the Treant. That's well, perfectly monster. fine. Found. Yeah, gets the Nightmare off on Snapfire. Who's behind him? It's Leo Stahl's Dragon Knight, who's still trying to get his Blink Dagger up. So Catnew is left. Ah, they've got a Blink reveal. Leo Stahl's got the stuns onto TB. The grip comes as well. They need to finish off RDO, though, before he can get a, a reversal with a Sunder. He is dead. The Ravage and the Kisses weren't enough to stop RDO from dying. You think about the, the boar the Lava had, the TA traps. Lava had vision everywhere. AJ? Oh, oh, KJ? Yeah, he's found in the trees. Easily killed off by Frank and Leo. Big Frank? smoke from no ping, though. Straight into Frank with a blink ravage. Monster, desperate for action. 
catches out Frank's Mars. He armor toggles as best he he can. And look, he'll oh. you, Frank. He finally dies. Something Queen of Pain thrives on. And they jump onto the tide here, knowing he doesn't have Ravage. So a pick onto Monster opens up for Lava. They need the arena, though, as the Soul Bind still has Tide is caught inside. This Tide is incredibly tanky. He's going to fall eventually, though. Kisses launched out from long range, but cancelled immediately by Theo. They don't want to stick around. They found another one. Still going to catch. Theo, of course, Snapfire didn't escape fast enough, but RDO, he wants to fight into Frank and Leo. Good damage from the illusions. That Scud is slow, problematic for Lava, but they've got the numbers. They've surrounded this TB and they've got stuns on him. Can he sunder in time? He's got one, he can't turn. Aegis is possible. He's alone, Queen of Pain's coming, no alone. Sonic Wave. 10 seconds for Sonic Wave. Can they kill this TB before the rest of the team respawns and arrives? RDO being chipped away at all oh, the stone gains. Can they actually stun him up? Because Frank has died to analog as the Queen of Pain gets a pick off, but dropping quickly and in comes the DK. But no, they don't get the TB sunders back as analog dies. And RDO is on the run once more. Lava, they stick around. All thanks to this Medusa just standing there. Getting killed. And they're moving high ground here. Medusa's coming from the back. Good burst damage on Cat Yu, and a Sonic Wave pushes Medusa away. Analog That's has a nothing. blink in a second, and they disarm the Medusa. They should be able to kill off Theo here, and they actually chuck the arena onto Monster, who's holding Ravage. He, he can't, Silver he can't Edge in a second. No teammates. Yeah, Break. they'll be able to take out that Kraken Shell and easily pick off the Tide after that. He's got to handle it somehow. Maybe now, if Monster can get the right initiation, he blinks forward, and the Ravage onto DK. This is looking a little messy from Noping, though, as they gobble and spin RDO in towards them, but now in the arena, he has to BKB up. RDO runs to the high ground again, and Monster is tanking these spells for them, but Kataro, he's out of the disarm now, so the Medusa's damage starts coming. They blow through Cat News. There's Big the TB, Yellow. Frank with a bulwark, Big TB, yeah, look at his shiny, he's red, and he's shredding through this Radiant team. The TB Illusion is solo carrying. Lava through this fight as Leo Star is going to track back onto RDO. Stuns Galore under the Terror Blade. No chance to help himself or help his team. And another big kill for Lava. Who can they get now? Theo. Oh, Theo. TP's home. Worth on Kim. Ahead of the tide, even. B barely. But oh, hang on. Monster. It's okay. nothing. Okay. He hits nothing. And now Analog <laughs> has to BKB. Frank. Shows off his own shiny golden item. They kill Cat Yu. I mean, Bane is the only kill they can get in these team fights, it looks like. Uh, Monster's in trouble still. Frank, Leo, and Kataro surround the Tide Hunter, and he is not so big and scary anymore. I Definitely think. not a top tier performance. I think no ping is just mentally done. It looks, I mean, Ardio's going to give it another try, though. I mean, the Terror Blade is still a beast. Frank with the Bulwark trying to guard Leo style and a good route there. In comes the Overgrowth Sonic Wave from Analog, helping to kill off Frank and the TP's home. Leo's style, no stuns, so he makes it home successfully while Medusa's been left alone. They've got a bit of reveal there with the sentry down, Katara turning. Is he going to be able to do anything here in a, what, a 1v4? Aegis still in hand, Beam. but Medusa's first life is going to go down. Who's pink? Grimstroke's coming. Come on, Grimmy boy. Come on, let's get a TB illusion, shall we? I think Medusa might just be too far up. Stone Gaze is good. TP is good. Escape, perfect. I'm oh, just thinking this this monster ravages. So, oh, Theo gobbles up the Queen of Pain, chucks her at the Mars, but Frank, he's got other plans. He's on the Snapfire with an Arena Spear, and Medusa's coming here. Kataro ravaged up. Analog jumps forward aggressively as well. They're trying to hunt the back lines, looking for the squishier targets, yeah, and they blow through the TB Illusions. Down. TB Illusions, too much to handle. Now, Monster's been slowed by the Skeleton, and that's three heroes gone from the side of Noping. Double Observer Wards are placed as well in the midst and the heat of battle. Yeah, I don't know why. Interesting. That's weird. Like you're not. You're not I mean, making Trian, an illusion uh, Trian did, of Trian has yourself. Fossil stone. Oh, Trian has. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, Analog's in. Analog's dying. Analog's dead. Audio. He's gonna walk out of the arena. BKB up, but he needs to sunder someone. He's half HP there. He gets it off finally, but hounded by Leo and Frank. Where's the Ravage? And any Ravage fans in chat? No, nope, it's just gonna be a runaway. Tide uh, Hunter is on cool down, losing everybody. Snapfire's gone, and Ravage, 20 seconds. Monster realizes he's got nothing left to do, so sits back in Fountain and calls GG. Giving Lava the 2-0 victory.